Hello everyone, uh, my name is Kate Sherbin and I'm the enrollment coordinator here at Athol Murray College in Notre Dame. Thank you to those that are joining us live and uh, hello and thank you to those joining us later on. Um, just a, a quick introduction uh, about Notre Dame. We are a uh, small school, grade 9 through 12, with a post-grad basketball program as well as a junior A program. So between uh, grade 9 and 12 in our post-grad programs, we have about 300 students that live in the community of Wilcox, Saskatchewan. And um, today we're going to get a bit more insight into the Notre Dame experience. You know, what makes this place special? Who is it for? And more particularly, a focus on our basketball development program. So today we have, I'm just going to put in the gallery. Today we have uh, Coach Zach, students, um, Bofo and Katie, and uh, our teacher and vice principal here, Bob Baumler. So I'm going to let them introduce themselves, a little bit about who you are, um, your role at Notre Dame, and uh, Bob, we'll start with you here, if you would tell us a bit about yourself. Hey, hello everybody, uh, my name is Bob Baumuller. I, uh, I am the Vice Principal and Assistant Director of Academics at Tothel Murray College in Notre Dame. I also oversee our high school sports programs. Um, I've been employed here for the last 22 years. I've uh, worn a number of different hats. I've worked residents, uh, been a teacher, Vice Principal now for the last five year, Director of Student Life. Uh, I've also been a uh, hockey coach, football coach, so I've done a, many of the uh, coach many of the sports here at Notre Dame, and currently uh, I'm in charge of uh, our high school sports program along with our athletic coordinator Mike uh, Merriman. Um, and one of the reasons I'm here at Notre Dame is I'm an alumnus, so uh, I'm here to give back to uh, to the students what uh, was given to me when I had the opportunity to attend Notre Dame. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. And um, let's bring back to the gallery. Zach, can you tell us a little bit about yourself here at, here at Notre Dame? Hello, everyone. Uh, my name's Zach Mahalis. I'm the head men's prep basketball coach here at Athel Mary College of Notre Dame. Uh, a little bit of background on myself. I'm a former university basketball player. I played for the U of R in Regina. Um, after that, I was the game was taken away from me a little bit early. I've had Lots of knee troubles, blown out knees, four surgeries later. So kind of forced me into coaching at a young age. But here I am enjoying it. It's a way for me to stay competitive. Um, part of the reason I chose Notre Dame, just alluded to it earlier, I love coaching basketball. I love being around young athletes. And I love being part of the recruiting process. It's an exciting time in an athlete's life. And giving them the help and support I can in any way is, is awesome to be a part of. Um, I also loved immediately the culture at Notre Dame. I mean, it's kind of a family affair out here in Wilcox. Everyone's in it together. And I think that uh, I just see the potential in this program and I'm super excited to be a part of it. Great, thank you, Zach. And uh, let's head over to, to our two students. Um, where are you from? How many years have you attended Notre Dame? And uh, what keeps you busy at Notre Dame? Um, I'm Fofo Adetogan. I'm a three-year hound from Regina, Saskatchewan. Um, I played on the men's prep basketball team here. Uh, this is my grade 12 year. And I also am a house leader over in Seaman Hall. Uh, that's our men's dorm for the grade 11s and 12s. Um, I also am a SRC leader on our student board this year. My name is Katie Vestito, and I'm a three-year hound. I'm from Regina, Saskatchewan, and I played – my main sports basketball, so I played on the senior girls basketball team for the past three years. And I also did senior girls volleyball. I did some track and field. I tried my be out. And I am a house leader, an SRC leader, and I'm part of our um, H for H group, which is a group that gives back to our community. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So uh, just a few things for you, Katie. That's amazing and fofo. Um, wonderful. Well, just to, to give an idea, if we could uh, go over to Bob, if you could give just an overview, what does the basketball program at Notre Dame look like? What teams um, is there available for, for students attending the school? Oh, yeah. Oops. Female program, we have two uh, basketball teams. We have our junior girls basketball team, which they compete in the Cabell Valley District uh, 
Basketball Association, um, and they basically play a high school schedule. They'll do a number of tournaments. And then we have our senior girls basketball team. Um, they travel uh, a little bit more. They're, they're off to a number of tournaments. Uh, next year, they'll be heading off to a tournament in Orlando. Uh, we're looking at a case tournament for them to play in as well. Um, they don't have a set league. They're more of a tournament team. So they're traveling around the country. They also uh, will compete in our hoopla, uh, which is our provincial uh, championships here in Saskatchewan. On the male side, we have three teams. We have a junior high school um, team, which consists mostly of uh, a number of our hockey players who will also play basketball, uh, being a, a multi-sport athlete. Um, they play in the uh, Cabell Valley District uh, High School Association too. So little games, they're not playing as extensively. The, um, the schedule isn't as, uh, as extensive as our senior girls or senior boys in our prep team. And then we have our senior boys team. They, like our senior female uh, basketball team, will do a number of tournaments. So we have a number of tournaments set up for them to, uh, to participate in. And they will be traveling around the country. Uh, they also will enter into our hoopla, uh, our provincial uh, championships as well. Uh, we have a new coach coming on board for our, our senior boys team, uh, Nav Burke. So he'll we're uh, welcome into the fold here as a teacher and a basketball coach. So we're looking forward to that for next year. And then we have our prep team. And our prep team plays in the North Pole Hoops uh, uh, Basketball Association. So there's extensive travel across the country. Uh, they go and play a number of uh, tournaments within the North Pole Hoops umbrella against teams in Vancouver, Toronto. Made a couple number of trips to Toronto, and then they'll, they'll branch out and do a number of tournaments as well. And that will lead up to a national championship. Uh, our team uh, this year, and I'll let Fofo speak probably a little bit more about our team this year, you know, we were, we were ranked number one. We went to the uh, to the national finals, etc. So they they've got a good base there, and that we can build from. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you, Bob, for the uh, the introduction to the basketball program. And yeah, while we're on that topic, because because it was such an incredible year, Fofo, could you speak a little bit to the the success your your team had this year? and uh, kind of over the past three years as, as you've developed here at Notre Dame? Um, yes. Uh, after the first year here, when we first came to Notre Dame, we had six guys. Um, and so we didn't play an extensive league. We played small tournaments um, just across Saskatchewan and going into Alberta a little bit. Um, we played against small colleges, and we developed that way. And then this past year, in my grade 11 year, last year, we – played in the first uh, year of the NPA, the National Preparatory Association, run by North Pole Hoops. Um, they were able to help develop our team, give us the feedback that we needed to showcase our talent across the country, not just in the West Coast and show teams um, from the East Coast and even down in the States, um, what we have out here in Saskatchewan. Uh, this past year, we had a really great team. We had guys mostly from home in Saskatchewan, and then we had a few guys from um, Alberta and a guy from Manitoba. And that team, we had a great success this year. We went to the final four this year with our program, um, getting fourth place this year at Nationals. And it was a great team. This place has really helped with a lot of development and keeping us in the gym. Fantastic. Thank you for giving us a bit more insight into your year and, and your time here. Um, but coming back to why did you initially choose Notre Dame? Uh, this is a question for both Katie and Fofo. Well, for me, I, my first, my grade nine year, I played basketball in Regina and I had goals of playing after university and I wanted to make our provincial team. And I just thought like I needed to have the gym time. I needed to have the support and the team for that. And I was instantly drawn to Notre Dame. It just, you have all the amenities that you need to get better. You have the support from your teachers, your staff. I've been, I mean, we've traveled. We did all the way from Ottawa to Calgary this year, like right across Canada, getting tons of exposure and just, yeah, it just, it's, I mean, it's worked out. <laughs> um, on my side, sort of the same thing. Um, in grade 10, it was a little bit scary uh, getting told like we were starting a prep program. I didn't really know what the whole prep scene was, but um, that really drew, drew me here because I wanted to, I have an aspiration of playing post-secondary in the States and this is the place to help with that because through that we've had, we had about four to five division one coaches come to our gym this year and come look at our team here. And the exposure across Canada was great. Um, being able to play all the way from Toronto, all the way to Vancouver, and then even down into California, that really helps with 
getting yourself out there and being seen by schools. Yeah, amazing. And and just to give our, our viewers a better idea, what does a typical training day or training week or training season look like for, for athletes at the school? Well, I know that for my team, we have a um, high performance phys ed class. So that's basically, it's run by our basketball coach and my entire team is on it. So every day for an hour a day, your gym class is essentially a basketball practice for you so that you can get better. You can start working on lots of fundamentals and get everybody up to speed. And then, so that would be sometime during the day as your gym class. And then after school, we usually would have about a two hour, two and a half hour practice. And then we have the rest of the night, and I know lots of girls will come back into the gym and play around, or in the morning we can come in and play around. But yeah, we're getting at least three to three and a half hours a day with a coach in the gym. Um, a typical day in our schedule, we would have morning practice at about 7 a.m. till about 8.30. And then during the day, we'll, we'll share the class with the girls, the high performance physics class. So we'll have that class. And then this year, we also added a practice class during the day. So the prep guys, um, which we had seven prep players on our team this year, and then the four high school players would have a period in the day for about an hour where we had a practice block where we could work on skill development as well as um, drawing up practice, like our plays for new games, um, watching film, scouting on teams. And then after school, we would just organize a lift at about 3.45 until about supper, and then Usually at night, if we aren't doing anything, if we need to study, we'll have that time to study from about 7.30 till about 9.30, or we will come in and shoot later that night after curfew or shoot um, between 7.30 and 9.30. Incredible. So what I'm hearing is sometimes you're getting in the gym four to five times per day. Yeah, yeah, four to five times per day, and it's really productive. Incredible. Um, and just curious, how do you balance your academics and your training schedule and maybe even a little social time at Notre Dame? Um, multitasking is a really big thing in Notre Dame. You learn how to do that um, really well. Uh, here, I've learned to balance right after school, finding as much time as you possibly can to go to the dorms and hang out with your friends. And then also balancing that with finding time during study hour, which we have from 6.15 till about 7.30 to work on like getting your grades in, making sure you have your academic side of it because without that you can't really, you're not eligible to play. So it's a healthy balance and you usually find times throughout the day because you're out here and you're gonna be in the dorms or you're gonna be in the gym. So it's really easy to find time to work out. And um, I mean, I agree with that, but another thing that's been really helpful and I know a lot of my team has utilized it is we have our um, student conference times in the morning and we have GLC after school. And I know lots of girls on my team will find times to go in, get the extra help with their teachers if they're feeling overwhelmed. But I mean, I've, we've been able to live just a great balance of keeping on top of our school, getting to practice, and still getting to do fun things like red and whites. And our coaches are able to work around that and be able to get us in there so we're not missing out on anything. Excellent. So you do have a little bit of fun as well with the <laughs> hard work? Excellent. And uh, the next question here um, is for Zach. And Zach, could you just give us an idea, um, you know, what characteristics in student athletes are you looking to attract to Notre Dame and in your program? Absolutely. Well, a few things come to mind, but first and foremost, we're looking for players who are dedicated to becoming the best version of themselves, whether that be on the basketball court, whether that be in the classroom or in the community. I think that's our main goal here at Notre Dame. Um, we need players with a team first attitude. You have to be willing to make sacrifices. You have to be willing to put the team ahead of the individual. And I think that's key to our success in the past. And it's going to be key to continuing to succeed in the future. Um, working together to strengthen the culture at Notre Dame, we need people who fit that mold and players who fit that mold to continue building what, what's been established out here. Um, obviously, a strong work ethic is huge. Like Fofo said, there's going to be times where we're in the gym four times a day, and we need to maximize that time and realize that that's a, a great opportunity we've been giving, given, so we need to take advantage of it, and, and work ethic speaks to that. Um, other than that, I would just say we look for people with with all around good character. Be a good human being and you'll have no problems here at Notre Dame. And I think it's it's a golden opportunity, like I said, to, to really pour everything you have into 
becoming the best person you can be both on the court and off the court. Great. Thank you, Zach. That, that sounds absolutely what we're looking for at Notre Dame. And uh, Bob, just to give a bit more context, how are, how, how are the student athletes supported in the academics at Notre Dame? What does that support look like? Well, we, we have a number of supports here at the school. Uh, we'll start off uh, in the morning. First off, our, all of our teachers are at work by 815. We have what we call a student conference. So students can drop in and see their teacher, meet with their teacher, get assistance on any type of homework that they may have. Uh, during the day, um, many of our teachers will spend lunchtime helping students, etc. So they're, they're always available. Um, then after school, we have what we call a GLC, which um, is more of a seminar style. We do have, uh, it runs from Monday to Thursday, and we have one, one of our math teachers goes on Tuesday and uh, Thursday. And what she does is she runs a seminar where any student can drop in with any math questions, et cetera, receive any assistance. And then on Mondays and Wednesdays, we have a science drop-in where one of our senior science teachers is there to help with any science-related uh, questions or assistance on any of their homework. Um, we also run with any student who's struggling with English, they, that's an opportunity for them to drop in and, and get some assistance with any, any essays, any grammar corrections, etc. So those teachers are also available to help with our students. Then e each evening from 6.15 to 7.15, we have what we call a study hall. And uh, there's study hall in the residence, which uh, we have uh, our house parents are supervising. Then we also have a study hall over in one of our academic building each night one of our teachers is assigned to that so they're there for an hour to assist any student with any academic help any questions any areas that they're struggling and once a, a team travels as extensively as our senior girls basketball team and our prep team do we we also will meet with those teams talk to the uh, the student athletes and offer them assistance with their teachers uh, I usually will mandate it if they're gone for, for an extended period of time over, you know, four or five days of school they're missing. We will mandate where the student has to go in and meet with their teachers over this uh, extended period of time until the teacher says that the student is caught up and they're, they're ready to move on. So we do have some, uh, some checkpoints as well where we'll assist the students. Great, thank you. And, and Bob, just another question. Um, you know, with the prep basketball team, why might a prep year be a, a you know positive thing for students academically? Um, the prep year offers a, a lot of our students now that they've graduated. It's tough to make that jump right to college basketball. It's different, uh, and I'm a, I have a hockey background. We went and played junior A hockey for two three years, and then you make your step into university where um, some of the students aren't feeling that they're ready to jump right into college or they're not going to get the playing time. They'll be redshirted or they may not make the team. So it gives them an opportunity to take that year, train for, for basketball, but also take care of their academics. If they're looking to go down to the U.S. to NCAA the scholarship, uh, we do offer the SAT test and the ACT test on campus. So it gives them an opportunity to write those two tests. Also, um, we offer uh, one uh, – university course so that the student can be introduced into a university course during that year um, and they they do that coinciding with our junior a team um, and also the students are are able to take a number of classes at our high school level so they're still in that school mode um, and and also with the basketball and training so that they just keep those two running hand in hand rather than taking a full year off just to try to play basketball and leaving their academics behind they're still working on, on staying focused on their academics as well Fantastic. Thank you, Bob, for, for um, giving us a better idea of the academic side of the prep team. And while we're on the prep team, Zach, could you just speak a little bit to, you know, the vision next year for the prep team uh, moving forward? Yeah, absolutely. Um, first of all, you heard, you heard Fofo allude to it. They had a lot of success last year, that program. Finished first in league and then finished fourth at nationals. And I think we need to pick up right where we left off. Um, we have a massive opportunity. We play in the MPA, which is the National Preparatory Association of Canada. There's 13 teams in that league right now. And essentially we play an eight to 12 game schedule where we'll travel all across Canada playing in tournaments. And then on top of our league commitments, we'll also play tournaments in other towns in Canada and the United States on top of that. Um, our exhibition schedule is also comp competitive. We play a lot of the local college teams such as Medicine Hat, or Briar Crest, some of those. So I think that gives us some good competition early in the year before we face some of those 
heavy hitting opponents out east or in the U.S. Um, the league that we play in, it works in conjunction with North Pole Hoops, who is great for giving young athletes exposure in Canada. Um, just to, to add to that, we're actually hosting a North Pole Hoops showcase at Notre Dame, and that's going to happen August 18th and 19th on the men's side. And we're also excited to announce that there's going to be a women's showcase this year as well. And that's happening on the 20th and 21st of August. So I think the league that we play in gives us a giant opportunity of, of giving the exposure that some of these Saskatchewan athletes and some of these Canadian athletes deserve. And they've worked hard to deserve. So. Great. Thank you, Zach. And um, if, if student athletes are interested in, in the prep team um, and, you know, they're wondering if they're at that level, how <coughs> ask them to connect with you that way on evaluation. Yeah, absolutely. If you think the prep team is something you might be interested in, then the first step would be getting in contact with me and the admissions department here at Notre Dame. Uh, the second step would be to send us some game film. Um, and the last step would be, if you don't have any of those options, uh, provide us with some references, whether that be previous coaches, teachers, those who have seen you play, know who you are as an individual, I think that would really help your case. And, and it would give us an idea of, of whether or not you're a good fit for our program. Great. Thank you, Zach. And um, just one more question here for, for the students. Um, you know, what advice would you have for um, student athletes looking to attend Notre Dame? Um, just a little bit of advice just for the student athletes is um, <clears throat> take advantage of your opportunity. Um, if you're a student athlete and your goal is ultimately to play at the next level, um, it's not a huge rush to leave, but it is a huge rush to make sure to put yourself in the right position to have the right steps to make sure that you can get to your goal. Um, and having a place like this, um, it's really helpful because you have so much gym access and you have so much support from your staff members here. So that can really help you out. And I would say, honestly, just take the jump and come here because it is, it's a hard decision. Like it's something that you're unsure of, but if I could give advice to anybody, I would say just take the jump, go all feet in, feet first, go at it as hard as you can and just immerse yourself in everything that Notre Dame has to offer because that's the only way you're really going to get a, really awesome experience here. Fantastic. And I, I just have to say, um, for both of you, you set such a good example, not just for future hounds, but our current hounds of, you know, the work ethic, the leadership, um, the character, just all those important things to support you in your success as a person at the school in our community, but also as an athlete. So how, you know, what advice would you give to student athletes coming to Notre Dame you know, how do you have to show up? What do you have to take advantage of to, to get to your next level? I would say, honestly, just don't be afraid to be yourself. And it can be a little crazy almost because it's such a, there's a hockey community. And I mean, me personally, like I can't even skate. So it was a little shaky at the beginning, but some of my best friends now are hockey players and you just have to get in there and I thought like having the support of my team and my coaches that helped with the transition of being a hockey or a basketball player in a hockey kind of school. But once you get in there, like it's, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, sort of the same thing as Katie, just fully immerse yourself in the school. Um, there's such a great culture here. And when you come here, you add to the culture. It's, it's a, uh, it's a big part of those people that have different, um, backgrounds and different identities and when you come together you can find something beautiful so coming in and make sure to not be afraid of being yourself and being confident in what you do um, that'll really help you out amazing uh, fantastic answers thank you for for sharing that and I, I think that's where we'll, we'll end today um, so I, I just like to thank you uh, and, and all the panelists for your time and, and your shared experience uh, at Notre Dame uh, for those that are exploring Notre Dame as an option, please do uh, get in contact and ask questions. It's it's a big decision for sure, and it's it's one that um, you know I'm sure Foco and Katie are glad they made. 
And you can go on our website, www.notredame.ca, and you can contact us at, at the enrollment office or as well visit our uh, Hounds basketball page for more information on our showcase uh, coming up in August, our, our summer uh, basketball camp, or uh, as well to get in contact with Zach. So thank you for everyone who joined today and, uh, and for those that watch the session later on. Bye for now.